Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have a great book box that has been sent to me for review once again. They usually send the boxes to me I'd say every other month because you do have the option of doing this as a monthly subscription or as a bi-monthly subscription. We know we love all those options. It is of course Peace and Pages which is a small business run by a wonderful couple. I think what they do is great. I love that they feature small businesses across the country. So let me just tell you the offerings that they have. They have the basic box, which is going to include a paperback in one of your pre-selected genres of choice. They're always highly reviewed books, so they're not going to give you just something like some remainder that they found <laughs> in some warehouse. They're going to make sure that it's a good book. And I usually say, I think way back when, probably like three years ago when I first subscribed to this one, I say that I like historical fiction. I like contemporary fiction. I'm not so much of a chiclet romance person although I have I occasionally dabble in it and I think I've maybe gotten like one of those I like true crime I like mysteries I like thrillers and most of the books that I have read from Peace and Pages which of course it's gonna vary for everybody every month was kind of a fun surprise so you and your friend might actually have the same subscription and you might even say that you like the same genres but not get the same book in a given month I think that's awesome. So you get the paperback and then you get two products on top of that in the basic box. You get an aromatherapy product as well as a self-care product. And again, they are always featuring different small businesses from across the country. That basic box is going to be $27 plus I think $6.99 in shipping. I do have a code for you. It's Noel 5 that'll save you $5 on the basic subscription. And again, you can do monthly or bi-monthly or on the deluxe, which is what they usually send me. So for the deluxe, which is, I believe, $12 more, so $39 per box plus shipping, you are going to get two more items. You are going to get something that's a gourmet snack or drink, and you know how I love to get something, a consumable edible item in my book boxes because it kind of adds to the reading enjoyment. Uh, you're going to get one of those as well as an extra like book accessory or gift or lifestyle thing. Sometimes it's another bath and body product or self care product um, but it's always really fun so in the deluxe boxes you'll wind up with the book in one of your pre-selected genres as well as four other items you're gonna get that aromatherapy product the self-care product an extra sort of bookish gift or accessory and then a snack or a drink so I think that's a nice well-rounded book box let's go ahead and dive in and see what we got for I believe this is the August box now they do sell out quite a bit again because they're just a couple that's working this so you know they will have to make sure and kind of balance things out make sure they have enough boxes but not too many boxes every month so this is what it looks like when you open it up they just have a little product card they don't tell us a ton about the uh, products but they do give us the name and location of the businesses and so usually if I find a product that I really love in this box I just go ahead and find them over on Instagram and then of course you could order more if you wanted to so the theme for August is afternoon tea and of course that's gonna be the same for the deluxe and the basic boxes uh, it is not gonna necessarily go with the book right because again everybody's getting different books so somebody might get a romance somebody might get a thriller somebody might get historical fiction um, and maybe afternoon tea works for all of those but it's probably not going to so I'm gonna prop this up in front of me to tell you about those four items and then I will take some time to read the blurb for the book with a lot of the book boxes that I open here on the channel the items do actually go with the book so that's why I take the time this to read but I kind of love that in this particular box the book is sort of the surprise at the end so let me just uh, move this uh, little bit of cardboard so we have some shred kind of protecting all of our products right there let me just go ahead and move some of that around all right this is pretty fun so the first thing I see is from a company called Southern Hospitality it is a mint julep right mint julep which always makes me think of the silver cup that sounds really delicious right now I'm not usually like a huge mint fan but mint is refreshing I like it as an ingredient in my cocktails but I just love that like kind of snow cone vibe of a good mint julep and they come in those beautiful silver cups a lot of times so let me know what your favorite summer cocktail is I'm still partial to a good port and tonic um, like a white port and tonic which is what I got addicted to last summer in Portugal or you know I had 
had an Aperol spritz the other day in Toronto and that was the perfect hot summer day treat. So this is a sweet tea foot soak. It's five ounces. Now you guys know I'm not like a big, you know, necessarily foot soak or bath soak person, but it's really cute because it actually looks like tea. It's like a giant tea bag. Look at that. So you actually go ahead and just put that into your foot bath. Oh, that's awesome. So you remove the tea bag. So it's in a tea bag and then you just kind of like open it up and toss it in there. So this is again uh, from Southern Hospitality out of Indiana and I'm sure that's going to be delish. Uh, and by delish I mean for your feet because mint on your feet, so good. Don't worry, I'm not going to drink it. But I might have to get my hands on a mint julep. Well, this is a great tea company. So I knew we would have to get tea for our snack or our drink. I get so much tea in different subscription boxes, it's hard for me to get excited about it, but this is a great company. It's by Plum Deluxe. It's their Afternoon High Tea White. So it's a white tea, which I love white teas. Uh, white tea, peach pieces, apricot pieces, orange peel, calendula, and pear essence. That sounds like it would make a delicious iced tea, honestly. Usually I use black tea for iced teas, but just because of all of those like fruity flavors, I bet it would be really good and a really refreshing so again this is from plum deluxe and they're out of Oregon okay what else this is let's see so I think that was our self-care item and our snack and then this is in a little mysterious white box I don't know what this is let's see okay so this is probably our little extra sort of bookish item or lifestyle item or just basically accessory it is of course a tea infuser which i have a lot of these different styles different designs but this one is pretty cute so this is one of those ones that's just a little ball where you snap it open um there is you have to be careful and use kind of a chunkier tea i find just because sometimes um that will escape through the crack but this is the kind i think that latches open like this so you can kind of use it as a scoop it is sort of hard to get um get tea in both sides of the little globe so you usually just have to scoop it into one side you can do like a nice heaping uh, spoonful though so it's a little bit taller than the actual basket and then you just have to click it closed and then this little latch here does kind of keep it in place and then this is kind of cute we've got a little feather so that's like the weight that's going to keep it over the side of your cup so you don't have to like you know tie it around the handle which is what i usually do with my uh, tea sachet strings so it's a really pretty little feather let's actually have a secret password you guys today so uh, when you come across a secret password in one of my videos you want to enter it along with your contact information in the google form linked for you in the description box below and then five days into the following month i use a random number pick to select a few winners to receive a mystery box filled with all kinds of goodies from the different boxes that I review here on the channel. You have to be 18 years or older, you have to have a US or Canadian mailing address, and you do have to be a subscriber of my channel, which I verify with you via email. And again, it is not affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes that I open here on the channel. It's just my way of saying thank you so much for watching my videos. So our secret password for today is going to be feather in honor of this cute little feather tea infuser, uh, which comes from the traveling teapot which is out of Colorado so very cute of course that goes really nicely with our uh, caffeine caffeinated I love me a caffeinated tea white tea from plum deluxe all right and then finally that means we do need to have an aromatherapy product still to go so it would be the aromatherapy product and the mint julep sweet tea, sweet tea foot soak that would be in the basic boxes with your book. This is from Bloom Fragrance Company. It's another white tea product, you guys. I love white tea. Uh, so it's white tea and bergamot room spray. It is hand poured in Ohio. So it's one of those like milkier ones. I'm always like nervous. I don't know why with like the milkier room sprays because I feel like they'll like stain things, but I guess if you're spraying them into the air, they're gonna diffuse and they're not gonna get anywhere. Um, so it's a white tea room spray and it's from uh, Ohio let's see oh it does have a seal on it I wanted to smell it I wanted to smell it let's see if I can get this open quickly it seems like it's really um, really on there well let me see let me see maybe I can use my little uh, knifey here and get into it but I don't want to scratch the nice um, the nice glass I don't use room sprays a lot we get a lot of them in different boxes and sometimes they smell amazing I'm more of a candle or wax melt person but sometimes you just need something a little bit more immediate 
and I think they're <laughs> they are a good thing to have in your uh, bathroom as well especially if you have like a guest bath just so people can keep everything smelling nice in there and it's not as like you know as uh, hardcore as some of the some of the more chemical room fresheners that you can get all right I did manage to get that off it took some doing but I did manage to get it off so Ooh, that is nice. It's a little more floral than I was expecting. So that's the bergamot part of it. But it does have a nice freshness to it. So I do think that would be kind of a nice thing to have in your guest bath or just maybe in the foyer of your house if you have a big enough house. I don't have a foyer. I always like talk about things like that. I'm like, you could put it on the like credenza or, you know, the table in your entryway. Um, I don't have an entryway. <laughs> it's like you walk directly in and you're like, there's the whole house. But it might be nice to have by the door as well just to like you know when you've like been all, gone all day and all the doors and windows have been shut and you're gonna open everything up just to kind of help freshen things right so that's a lovely aromatherapy product all right let's finally see what our book is this time around every once in a while i will get like a repeat from another book box but not most of the time so it is a remainder uh paperback which i don't mind at all so it's from a author called karen white the last night in london and there she is at uh the london bridge near the tower of london i think that's the london bridge actually it's not the london bridge <laughs> it is not it is not um let's see let's see what this is all about all right so ooh, it's in two time periods i always love books like that so new york times best-selling author karen white weaves a captivating story of friendship love and betrayal that moves between war-torn london during the blitz and the present day so it looks like we've got a little historical fiction going i'm into it london 1939 beautiful and ambitious Ava Harlow and her American best friend Precious DuBose, DuBose are trying to make their way as fashion models. Ooh, this sounds like something else that I read where it was like, but it was like she was a foot model in France. Let's see. When Ava falls in love with Graham St. John, an aristocrat and Royal Air Force pilot, she can't believe her luck. She's getting everything she's ever wanted. Then the Blitz devastates her world, and Ava finds herself slipping into a web of intrigue, spies, and secrets. As Ava struggles to protect her friendship with Precious and everything else she holds dear, all it takes is one unwary moment to change their lives forever. Ooh, so cool names. Ava Harlow, Precious Precious DuBose and Graham St. John. Uh, it's D-U-B-O-S-E. DuBose, right? All right. London, 2019. American journalist Maddie Warner, whose life has been marked by the tragic loss of her mother, travels to London to interview Precious about her life in pre-World War II London. Maddie has been careful to close herself off to others, but in Precious, she recognizes someone whose grief rivals her own. But unlike Maddie, Precious hasn't allowed it to crush her. Despite her desire to be strictly professional, Maddie is drawn to Precious and her enigmatic surrogate nephew, Colin. As Maddie gets closer to her, she begins to unravel Precious's, Precious's, that is hard to say, Precious's haunted past, a story of friendship, betrayal, and unremembered acts of kindness and love. So I am guessing that her um, surrogate nephew Colin probably has something to do with Ava and Graham St. John. So I don't know. At least we know that Precious made it, but we don't know about the other two. So a little interest, a little mystery in there, as well as some um, mystery, peril, and romance combined in a heady cocktail that will keep readers bubbling with curiosity until the last page and thirsty for more when they're done. Bravo. So it does sound interesting. I do kind of like things like this. I love that little element of mystery where you have to kind of piece things together. You get really attached to characters, even though you know, like, they were from 1939 and they might not have made it to uh, 2019. So what is that, 60, 80 years later? And she's still around? Hmm, interesting, 
interesting. You guys, let me know what you thought about this lovely afternoon tea deluxe edition from Peace and Pages. If you've read anything by this author, I'd love to know as well. I don't know when I'm going to get around to it because you, I always have books to read that go with different boxes, but this seems like a good selection for me, honestly. And again, let's just go over the items that would have been in the basic box. You would have gotten this lovely white tea and bergamot room spray, as well as this mint julep sweet tea foot soak. I think those are really fun items. And then the little extras that you would get in the deluxe box is this really nice sounding afternoon high tea white very like weird mixture of words and this cute little feather charm tea infuser. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please help me out with a thumbs up. If you got to this point and you missed it, there was a secret password. So make sure that you go back and find it so you can enter to win a mystery box. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.